Hello, I'm recording this at 10.30 at night. Um, it's been a day. I immediately, after getting home from work, went and laid down and went into a vortex on the internet. Um, I don't know if you can hear my neighbor outside, but she's outside talking to her cats at 10.30 at night in a windstorm. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys my cross-stitch projects that I have um, and I need help figuring out which one to start there's four of them um, yeah this one I've already started but I might restart because I've messed up in a few spots and I don't know if I need to buy because I started with the black I don't know if I'm gonna need to buy more black string but this is death head death's head Hawk moth. Um, I believe I got this on Etsy or Amazon. I'm not sure. I know the other ones are from Amazon, but I don't remember if this one specifically is from Amazon or Etsy. But it is the moth with the phases of the moon. I believe this is the smallest one out of all of them. Uh, and there's. 11, excuse me, 11 colors. I'm going to show you them real quick. They're kind of jumbled because, like I said, I did start it, but I just did not, oop, there's the needle. I did not finish anything of it, really. Um, so I started it on a vacation, and when I got back from that, just did not end up continuing it. Um, none of these are printed on the canvas. These are all, they all come with the paper guide, paper key. Um, so if I do start this one, I'm, like I said, I am going to be, and I did note down the symbols for it. So I'm thinking or hoping there's enough black on here that if I do take out what I have done, there's enough to do it all again. And if not, I can always buy some more string. Um, like I said, um, I don't know where, like I would assume Michaels would have it, but yeah. So that is the Death's Head um, Hawk Moth. And there's the phases of the moon on it. This next one is a bee. This is just a normal bumblebee, I believe, with the scientific name. Yeah, bumblebee. They had a few different bee options, I remember, um, but I got this one. Um, I think the reason I got this one was because they didn't have the carpenter bee. Um, here was the other options. And the bees. Um, I think I've said this before, but I really love carpenter bees. They're just chunky little dudes flying around that, um, to me, they just look too big and they're so derpy, but they're cute. It's a fairly simple color pattern. And this one comes with a needle, which is nice. This one did not come with a needle. Um, I had to steal a needle from a project that I had that I ended up not doing. Um, this one is 17 by 18 centimeters. It's on black canvas. This one is on white canvas, like we saw earlier. Um, yeah. Or actually, this one is smaller somehow, but this one is a bigger packaging. I'm not sure, but this is the B one, just your standard bumblebee. And then this one is also on black canvas. Um, this is the color of what it looks like on the black canvas versus the white canvas. It is just some flowers 
whole lot of colors. This one's a pretty big one. Oh yeah, it's just herbs. Again, it comes with the paper key and it's not printed on here. I've never done one where it's printed on the canvas before. Like, I'm sure that would help me with my issues with not knowing how to count, but, you know. So here's this one, just a whole rainbow of colors in there. This one also comes with a needle, which is nice. And here's some other variations that they had. This one's really nice. But I told myself when I bought these, I was only allowed to get four because I know how long it takes to do cross stitch uh, because I used to do cross stitch um, in like middle school. <laughs> I learned it in middle school because we had a like uh, tactiles club. And this one is the gigantic one. This one is Starry Night. Um, yeah, it's gigantic. It is bigger than, it's like almost the same size as this diamond painting that's on my, <laughs> on my desk. Um, let me see. I like that it gives, this one gives a like what these different stitches look like. I believe the other ones do as well. I don't fully remember, but this one, I remember when I got this and I pulled it out of the packaging, just seeing how gigantic the key was, I was bamboozled. The key is two front to back sheets. And I like that it's colored. Uh, the other ones, or at least this one, is not. And I think that's partially what my issue is when it comes to cross stitch with me not knowing how to count things. Uh, like, or like just counting wrong, really. Um, because I enjoy cross stitch, but like I said, that's my main issue, is I end up counting wrong. This one comes with two needles and an absolute gigantic mound of beautiful blues and greens. There are 20 colors. <laughs> So, oh, these are the, the projects that I have cross-stitch wise. If you aren't interested in me starting a cross-stitch series, um, whatchamacallit. So yeah, let me know. Um, I'm hoping to start one next week sometime. Or at the end of this week. Um, so yeah, let me put this in here real quick. And then you can do a rundown of the different projects. There we go. So this really big one, again, Starry Night by Van Gogh, uh, absolute gigantic piece, would be the biggest cross-stitch project that I've ever done. I'm going to leave the paper out for now. We have our herbs, which will be on the black canvas. I kind of wish they had like their their names by them, but I don't, I mean, maybe if I felt up to it, I guess, after I finished, I would have to Google them and cross-stitch their names in or something. I'm not sure. 
And then again, here's this sort of rainbow of colors going on. Again, it's on black canvas, and here is the size of it. We have our bumblebee with its scientific name. This one is also on black canvas. I believe this one does have the border in the... Um, yes, it does on the chart. Here's our bumblebee. And here's the colors and the size. So these two from the same company. Um, and like I said, I believe I got all of these on Amazon. I'm not going to have links to them because it's been so long since I, well, I bought these in like December. Uh, and I don't even know if these products are still available through Amazon. My last one is the Death's Head Hawk Moth which I said before that I would be restarting because I started doing the body of the moth in the black and I counted wrong so it's not fully there and I'm just hoping that there's enough black in there that I won't have to buy more thread but I'm totally okay with it and then here's the specifics this is oh this did come with a needle so I'm not sure why Maybe I just had a spare needle in my kit, my cross-stitch bag. Um, this is on white canvas with the 11 colors. So, like I said, I would like to be starting one of these end of this week or next week. I just would like some input on what you would want to see on the channel. Uh, because I would like this to also be a series along with the diamond painting stuff. So, that's all for now. Let me know in the comments or vote in the poll. Uh, tomorrow's video will not be out this late at night, I promise. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will see you tomorrow. If you're watching this when this comes out and you're like in America, go to bed. Uh, it is way too late at night. Everyone else in the world... Uh, have a good day. <laughs> Do some self-care. Drink your water. Uh, get some sleep. You know, do what you need to do. Take care of yourself. My thing today to take care of myself was going into the internet vortex when I got home from work. Um, I just ended up staying up way too late. But that's a me thing. So, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.